Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, a video on how to make a distressed look on a font. So what I did, I just went out to the internet and got a picture of a bark of a tree. I'm going to go ahead and take my, with it selected, I'm going to get my crop tool. I'm just going to crop out part of it. <clears throat> then take this tree picture and go to bitmap mode and grayscale. Then go to effects and adjust and tone curve and you get this crazy looking line and you can adjust it now and get more black, less white, more white and whatever you really want. Uh, just kind of play around with it. I'm not doing a very good job. See now we got more like gray. That's too much. That looks pretty good and just say, okay. Now what we need to do is go to bitmap and go to mode and turn it to black and white and make it line art. And at this time you can change your threshold to make it a little bit more, a little bit less, whatever you want, and then say, okay. So there's your distress look, basically. We're just gonna take, uh, you know what? I'm gonna just make one big letter. Let's, uh, let's make it an S. Kind of give a distress look. I'm going to go ahead and use impact because it's a big, thick font. And I'm just going to bring it. I'm going to go ahead and make it that same color. Now what I can do is, there are several ways to do this, but I'm just going to go, you know, I'm going to set my nudge factor. Let's see how big this thing is, 10 inches. Set my nudge factor on about 12. I'm going to select them both. And I'm going to go to intersect. And what that did, that gave me that. But I can still change the color of my font by right clicking. And then if you put this on a black shirt, if we did this and made it a black box and arrange, or excuse me, arrange order back a page, that, well, we still got white. Um, see if we can't get rid of that white. There we Well, then we got rid of the color. There we go. I just made the whole thing blue. So that's a distressed looking look. Uh, pretty cool. And you could do that, you know, with any letter. Let's just do that again. I may, I may have confused you. So select it all, intersect it, and then nudge it out of the way. And you can always take this letter and left click, right click, so you would have an outline on it if you wanted. And then let's just, let's move the outline away for a second, take this, and we're just gonna right click, and then move that back, if you wanted an outline. If you wanted an outline, you would have an outline, and you could change the outline to the blue, which really wouldn't, you could make it a dark blue, uh, you could make it white, which is, not very good, except for when it's on a, a um, distress of a shirt. So let's make that line a thicker line now. So we can take that line and you see I've got it selected. And I'm going to just, well, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to go to convert it to a curve. And when I do that, uh, my thickness line will come up. That's too much. And you could also probably do the stress on the, on the line itself. Well, that's a pretty cool distress look and really easy and you could change it, you know, make it lighter, darker or whatever you wanted. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.